What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and today I want to address a question that I've received several times now lately, um, because I've told people about finding cards from games I attended. And usually when I tell people that, they'll say, well, you know, how do you even do that? So I want to show you one way that I go about doing that. It doesn't mean it's the only way, but um, it's proved to be fairly successful for me so far. So the first thing you've got to do, and I know this sounds kind of silly, but you've got to know the date of your game. And if you don't know the exact date of your game, you know, if you know the opponent or if you know some situations around that game, maybe you can figure it out by using basketball reference in your particular team schedule. But the easiest way is to know the date of your game. Uh, you might find that on old tickets. You might find it on old social media posts. You might find it on old pictures on your phone. You can go into the details and see when that picture was taken. But find the date of your game. So the particular game that I'm going to work with today is a December 7th, 2007 Pacers game that was played in Orlando against the Magic. So what I'm going to do, and I've already got it pulled up here, is I'm going to go to GettyImages.com and I'm going to type in uh, the date of that game, which was December 7th, 2007, and I'm going to also put Pacers Magic. And sometimes, um, sometimes you can actually search too specific and you might have to scale it back a little bit, but I think in this instance it will work. Now, if you get a search like this and nothing shows up, I don't want you to be alarmed. That's normal because you have to change your results from creative to editorial. So that's what I'm going to do here. Click on editorial. It's going to tell me, all right, there's one event here, December 7, 2007, and there are 172 pictures from that event. So... Um, the first thing that I like to do when I pull these up, because that can be a little bit overwhelming, is I like to just skim through those and see what would likely be an image that, you know, would show up on a card. Um, so, like, I look at, you know, this Danny Granger one probably wouldn't, Marquise Daniels talking to a ref, probably isn't going to show up on a card. Um, that Richard Lewis one's pretty good, so that might, you know, any breakaway photo like this, that would be pretty good. A lot of times, tops use those breakaway photos. Um, that was pretty common, Tops, Bowman, and so on. They like to use a lot of game photos. So I'm just going to skim through these. Like, you know, Sean Williams um, is probably, in his second year, is probably not going to get a lot of cards. So you just have to use the context and what you know, like Danny Granger in a warm-up, probably not going to be on cards. So I'm going to just skim through these, and it doesn't mean that I memorize them perfectly. Is a nice little shot. Is that Daryl Armstrong or Adonal Foyle? That's not Daryl Armstrong. Adonal Foyle. Big difference there. Um, and I noticed that there's three pages, so I'm just going to skim through them real quick to see which ones kind of stand out to me. Nice picture of Stan Van Gundy there. Probably not going to end up on a card, though. Some nice close ups. Another picture of Stan. Like this, probably not going to end up on a card. Uh, but you never know that Jeff Foster dunking and Jeff didn't have a lot of cards around this time frame. So I'm going to guess that that probably wasn't there either. Now, um, I could search some of the magic players like uh, there was a shot of Richard Lewis early on that. I don't know. It seems familiar to me like I maybe I've seen that on a card, but I'm not really looking for the magic players first off. So I'm thinking about Pacers players and this photo was taken early enough in the season because it was in December that. Maybe it would show up on some of the 2007 cards, but I don't want to rule out early 2008 as well. So I'm going to be looking mainly at two different years of cards. And to do that, I go to, and I've got a tab pulled up here. I go to comc.com and I'm going to type in Pacers 2007. Now, I, I'll be honest here and I'm going to change my, I'm going to change it to oldest. So that way it just groups all the similar cards together. Like I don't have to look at all the chromes scattered in so many different places. Um, this one's going to be a little bit easier for me because they are wearing those gold alternate uniforms. That wasn't something that they wore a lot. So, you know, you can see here there's 246 cards, but I'm actually going to be able to skim through those fairly quick here because I'm not seeing any gold. In these 2007 even though the game was 2007 you got to remember they get these photos so far ahead of time so no gold no gold no gold um, it's a pretty quick search and the more you do this the more reps you get the easier this will get so I see a Danny Granger here um, 
and I know that that's a possibility, although if you look at it, I don't have to go and look back at the photos because I can see that the opponent there is a Sixers player. I think that might, might even be Andre Miller. So that is not um, that is not going to be from the game that I attended. So I just keep going, looking for those gold uniforms. Here's a Jermaine O'Neal where he's shooting and can't really see the background of the card. Sometimes on the more modern cards, if you flip them over, they'll show you a... a Another version of that picture on the back with more background. Panini does that a lot. Tops, not so much. So uh, I'm going to go in and you can make a little shortcut. There's a couple ways to do this. So you can go on the left side and go to people, specific people. Um, now, it, with a lot of the more, you know, the uh, later 2010s photos, you'll see that they have more people there that have been tagged and identified. Here, they've only got Dwight Howard isolated. So what you can still do, though, take your search at the top, and I'm going to add the word Jermaine, um, and just look and see, all right, do we have a shot of him shooting a jump shot? We do have one right here. Um, doesn't look the same to me, though. Doesn't quite look the same. And you'll have to look. You can look kind of at the placement of the ball in Spalding and where that's at, and you'll see that. Um, that those are in fact not the same pictures there. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. Um, so no, a no go on that, even though it was a gold jersey. And I'm going through, I'm going through, I'm going through. And you can take your time on this, but I'm just trying to be quick just for the sake of the presentation here. Uh, no gold jersey. So now, does that mean... You know, our hopes are, are all lost here. No, not necessarily. So I'm going to go to Pacers 2008 in the off chance that they use some of those pictures a year later. Um, and we've got one here, not a great photo, but we've got a photo of Mike Dunleavy. And I'm just going to zoom in before I try and match it up and look at it. And I do see Dwight Howard. I do see a couple. Uh, is that a Donald Foyle again? I do see a couple Magic players there. So... Um, that, you know, if that's one of the photos, it wasn't one that stood out to me that would look good on a card, but maybe I was wrong. So we're going to look for that picture of Mike Dunleavy. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with Jermaine. I'm going to type in Dunleavy. None of those pictures so far. And there you see it right there. So that is the photo that um, was used on that 2008 Bowman Chrome card and I don't you know I've held off on buying that gold over the years because I wasn't big on Bowman Chrome but now I'm going to add that to my list because I've got a binder uh, with several pages of cards from games I've attended and I'll label the game in there um, you know just a, a cheap way to add some more stuff to your collection that you might enjoy so I'm going to add that Mike Dunleavy to the collection eventually um, but um, I found that one pretty early on. I'm going to keep looking here for just another couple minutes to see. And obviously there's the other parallels. I see there's the gold there, but it, I don't know if it's worth $13 to me. More of them will pop up eventually. I'm going to keep going. Still Bowman. So I can go through those quick because those are all the same picture. Um, here's another Dunleavy picture. And I don't see anything in the background. Sometimes you'll see like, a bunch of fans wearing Bulls jerseys or something, so you know you can rule that out. Um, I've still got my Dunleavy search pulled up, and uh, that one is not in there, even though he is wearing that gold jersey. This is a photo shoot with an old gold retro jersey, so not the same thing. Um, okay, so we've got a Troy Murphy card here where he's driving. Let me look real quick to see if I can see any other players, and I can't, although I think that one... I think Orlando's seats were red at the time, so you can kind of use some of those clues too, but we'll go ahead and look up Troy. And uh, don't see that picture of Troy driving there. So they might have gotten some more cards later in the season or some more pictures, I should say. Um, and I'll try and go through these quick. There's a uh, another Dunleavy photo. So we can go back and, and use that same process um, I'm not going to look every one of these up. Okay, uh, here's a Troy Murphy, and actually I can see it already. We've got Marquis Daniels in the background, and then there's Richard Lewis. He's shooting over Richard Lewis, so I think I still have my Troy Murphy search up here, and there it is. 
there's that card. So I And I already have the gold of that without even knowing I was at that game. So that's pretty cool. I think that's, um, what was that, 2008 top. So I have the uh, Topps Chrome Gold of that card. So uh, that's kind of cool. In you know less than 10 minutes here, I've found two matches. And you can see there are a lot of iterations of that card. So I'm not going to go through all of them. And looking for gold once again. Now it gets tricky if, if it's one of the blue uniforms, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means you might want to isolate it by player and look at some of the background shots. Um, I've looked up that Granger one before. It looks like one that could be a, a possible match, but it's not. And that Dunleavy wasn't either. So, um, And then Andre Owens wasn't even with the team at that point. Um, I didn't even see him in that Getty album. So we finally moved into some of the newer pictures um, but you know, sometimes you want to check them just in case, just because I've sorted the cards by oldest doesn't mean that the pictures are necessarily chronological. So anyway, um, I, you know, I thought that would be something different, something that you probably haven't seen before. Maybe you haven't even thought about before, but it might be a way that you can add some cards to your collection, uh, for a pretty low cost. And, um, you know, some people might enjoy this stuff, so you could have some fun in the process. So anyway, there you have it. Remember, there are new episodes of the podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.